All right, so we're here with uh, L.J. Peterson. Uh, he runs Globe Riders, uh, one of the most respected and oldest uh, adventure oldest. biking <laughs> uh, outfits in the world. And L.J., please tell us, uh, have you been to Iran by any chance? Yeah, just by chance I went to Iran <laughs> on the way when I was doing my world tour in 1990. I passed through for the first time. That was going solo. And I came in from Pakistan uh -huh. and went from the south up to Tehran, down to the Caspian, and then into Turkey. And had a wonderful experience because I heard, I'd heard so many stories, oh, you couldn't go, and the, then the border were closed and all of this. And I remember I met this Norwegian lady and being a woman at that time, traveling by yourself was not easy. So she had made it up with a couple that had a Land Rover, British couple, uh -huh. but she needed a husband to get the hotel room. So I was her uh, husband for a week. <laughs> she was a nice girl. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Um, so that was your first trip to Iran? How many times have you been total? The, uh, two times. <clears throat> And uh, last time I had 20 motorcycles with me. So wow. my company, we take long tours. This was uh -huh. the Silk Road. We start from Istanbul and go all the way to Xi'an, China. Uh -huh. And uh, we went to Iran in 2015. And one of the biggest fairs, I would call it actually fairs from mm. some of the participants and mm. their relatives mm. was going to Iran. So I convinced them, no, it's okay. It's going to be good. And at the end of the trip, I bet you were 90% of the guys, the, some of the best stories and the best memories from the tour was Iran. Not because of nature. Yeah, nature is beautiful, but nature is beautiful in many places. It was the people. It was the interaction with the people and just the genuine happiness of meeting people that come from other places on earth. Because we were several nationalities, not just Americans. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and wonderful experience, yeah. That's great to hear. Um, so when is your next trip to Iran? Uh, in, I'm leaving for Turkey you now in less than a month. So okay. 5th of May, we meet in Turkey and we will come into Iran around the 20th of May okay. or, and travel for only a week, unfortunately, but we have a long way to go. It's a two month trip, 8,000 wow. miles wow. all the way to Xi'an, China, but it goes from Azerbaijan on the northern part along the Caspian to Tehran and then we enter into Turkmenistan to Ashgabat. So we're going to, and my wife is fortunately flying into Tehran and she's going to travel with us for three weeks. So it's going to be a wonderful trip again. And I know the group, they are little, they're reading headlines, you know, it's yeah. always some political stuff going on that kind of make people a little intimidated about the trip but I, I'm pretty safe and feel good about it that they are gonna have a wonderful experience again. That's wonderful to hear. I'm sure they'll have a great time given that you'll be leading them. Um, so uh, can you tell us about the group and the types of motorcycles that you're taking? Yeah, usually because of the length and the cost of uh -huh. the trip, uh -huh. uh, I get people that are mature people. Uh -huh. <laughs> they usually have had a career and they are getting towards to retirement uh -huh. or some already retired. And they, they, all of a sudden they find out, I want to do something for myself, uh -huh. you know? And uh, so 50, 60, some even up to 70 years old. And then uh, the bikes they take, all of the bikes on this trip is BM, are BMWs, all from 650 up to 1200 CC, mm -hmm. mostly the GS and GSAs. BMWs, solid bikes, mm. and that's what we get on most of our trips. People can take whatever they want as mm. long as it is a GS kind of a style bike mm. that also can handle off-road <clears throat> because some of the roads where we are going, they you have no choice. The main road is off-road road the way we see it. So Fantastic. So you go through the whole uh, Silk Road and then at the end of it, how do you get back? Do you just ship the bikes back? What's the story there? Yeah, as we speak, the container that was shipped out of Seattle mm. uh, over a month ago is just about to arrive in Turkey. And uh, when we come there, we pick up the bikes from the container, go through customs, and we do in reverse in Xi'an. We put the uh, bikes in the container 
and then ship them back. And it will take uh, a month or two before they come back and we just fly back home after that. Like I've done like three, four day trips here and there and just the logistics for that is just massive. How do you manage all this work that has to go behind the scene before your you know, partners and customers show up? Well, I've done it now for 19 years. Next wow. year will be my 20th anniversary for mm -hmm. doing tours like this. Yeah. And I have good partners. I have good people I work with and that's the key to it. So, you know, it's in the beginning, it's it's a little tough, but uh, it gets easier as you go. But there are never anything easy about traveling to all of these countries. Right. Still, we are waiting for the Iran visa. You know, we oh, haven't, wow. that will come like a week before, hopefully, so we're a little, <laughs> And like one guy from Canada, mm. uh, he is going to leave to Europe and ride from Europe to Istanbul and meet us there. He didn't get his Turkmenistan visa in time mm. and his Iran visa will be picked up in Istanbul. So it's all this logistics wow. uh, and you have to stay on top of it. Because if you get the visa too early, it will expire before we get there. Oh, wow. You know, they only last for usually uh, two to three months before they have to be used. And, so yeah, it is a lot of spreadsheets and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is wonderful. Well, thank you for, um, again, last night's lecture. Um, LJ was here giving a talk to an enthusiastic crowd of uh, bikers and bikers to be and uh, safe travels. And we will see you when you come back. Thank you. Looking forward to all the photos and the stories. It's going to be great. <laughs> all right. Thank you.